Hello, my friend. This is Clyde. Dreams do come true. I know a place where dreams do come true. You think it is one of the top theme parks in the world, a place where kids enter into a fantasy land and for a moment, time is suspended and little girls can become princesses and little boys become heroes. I've heard that dreams can come true in Hollywood where hopefuls come for that one moment in time when someone will see their, them and believe that there is a talent that can win awards and entertain the world. Later this month, the Paris Olympic Games will open and thousands of hopefuls will compete for a gold medal in different disciplines and the dawning of the day when someone in their field of endeavor will become number one in the world. Some people will go home with a gold medal, but many others will not even survive the first round of competition. Let me introduce you to my world. Let me introduce you to my God. Let me introduce you to the one experience that guarantees that your dreams will come true. Theme parks are fun, but at the end of the tour, you are back to normal. Hollywood might like someone, but there is no assurance they will like you. The Olympic gold medal can only be won by one person or one team, and you might have a bad day and never make it to the finals. Will you come with me, therefore, as I introduce you to a great world, not a world of possibilities, but a world of certainty? There was a young lady who came from a country where idols were their gods. She met some folks who served the one true God. She married the son who later died. His father died and his only brother died. And this poor girl was left as a widow in pain. Her mother-in-law wanted to return to her homeland, but this young widow insisted on going with the old lady. You can't stop me from coming with you. Your God is going to become my God. Ruth chapter one. Ruth went with Naomi back to Bethlehem and they were poor. But through a series of events that looked like coincidence on the surface, something great happened to Ruth. This widow from a foreign country where they served idols met a man who served the living God, and that man married her. Together they had a son who had a son, and that son had eight sons. Ruth's grandson became the second king of Israel and the greatest king in the history of that nation. The grandson of a poor immigrant woman. She met the God of Naomi and that God redeemed her, turned her life around and thousands of years later her name, the name of a peasant girl named Ruth, was listed in the genealogy of Jesus, the savior of the world. Ruth had a dream, a dream to meet Naomi's God. And that dream came true for her. You can read all about her story in the book of Ruth in the Bible. There was a man named Jacob and he was destined to be one of the heroes of a nation that was not yet formed, the nation of Israel. Jacob had 12 sons, but the 11th son, Joseph, was special, yet he didn't know it. He was his father's favorite, and that was a problem for at least the 10 older brothers. Joseph was a dreamer, and he had two particular dreams that were significant. The first one involved him and his brothers binding sheaves of grain, but in an instant, the brothers' sheaves all bowed down to Joseph's sheaf. This didn't sound good. The brothers were not pleased. Another dream saw the sun and the moon and 11 stars bowing down to Joseph. Was he crazy or what? Sometimes dreams are deferred and Joseph's dreams were deferred, but God had never forgotten those dreams. And almost 20 years later, Joseph became like the vice president of a great country. And guess what? There was a great food shortage all over the world and his brothers who were left behind in their country, they had to come to Egypt to buy food from their brother who they did not recognize. Over time, he introduced himself to them and guess what? 
they all bowed down to him. However, he was kind to them and he brought his whole family to come to live in his new country where they could have as much food as they desired. The story of Joseph is one in which dreams came true. Let me, however, get to the heart of my talk with you today. Jesus Christ, the Son of God, makes dreams come true. The greatest dream that you can have is to be able to live forever. We know that everyone is likely to die at one point or another. Worse, we have heard of a place called hell, a place where some people after they die will go to be forever. Who will go to hell? The people who refused to serve Jesus. Well, what about the others? Oh, their dreams will come true. When you trust Jesus as Savior, your dream of living forever becomes a reality. Jesus gives you eternal life. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. John 3 and verse 16. There is also one huge bonus feature of being a Christian. Jesus causes others of your dreams to come true. Listen, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he shall direct your paths. Proverbs 3 verses 5 and 6. What does that mean? It is wise to trust in God because he knows your future and he is in control of everything. If you trust in yourself, you are likely to fail and be defeated by circumstances. When you trust in God, when you turn your dreams over to God and depend totally on him, your future will be bright and God makes your dreams come true. That's because Jesus answers prayers. He told his disciples one day, and I will do whatever you ask in my name so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. You may ask me for anything in my name and I will do it. John 14 verses 13 and 14. Do you have dreams of a bright future? Where does someone go in order to have dreams to come true? I recommend Jesus. Seriously, it is not a scam. Turn your life over to Jesus. Stop putting your trust in other human beings, including yourself. Stop trusting in technology. Stop trusting in things like the lottery. All of these things will fail. But today is the day to begin to put your trust in God. He is the greatest and the best. And he never changes. And he never disappoints. Jesus is the one true God who will make your dreams come true. Want to see your dreams come true? Put your whole trust in God.